temperature and the rate of reaction. There are a number of factors which will influence the rate of a chemical reaction. In this experiment, we will see how the temperature will influence the rate of a chemical reaction. The principle used is that of a starch test and makes use of the iodine clock. The items needed for this experiment is starch solution, iodine solution, thermometer, ice in a beaker, stopwatch, Benson banner to heat up the water, six test tubes, empty beaker, and a matches. To do this experiment, one needs a reaction that is easy to repeat. The iodine clock is the most suitable. Stock solution of iodine and starch need to be prepared first. Iodine solution, it's two grams of potassium chloride dissolved in a 1,000 centimeter cubed of water. Starch solution. Mix two grams of starch into a paste with little water and dissolve this in a 500 cubic centimeters of boiling water. Allow the solutions of starch to cool and dilute with 500 centimeter cubed of water. In this solution, dissolve 0.4 grams of sodium hydrogen sulfide and 5 milliliters of sulfuric acid of concentration 1 mole per cubic decimeter. Alteration 1, room temperature. Pour 10 centimeter cubed of the iodine solution and the starch solution at room temperature into separate test tubes. Before pouring the contents of the test tubes, Make sure the stopwatch is at zero. Pour the contents of both test tubes into a 250 centimeter cubed beaker. Measure the time of the reaction with a stopwatch and take the readings from room temperature solutions. The reaction time was 2.9 seconds. Alteration two, warm water. Pour 10 cm cubed of the iodine and starch solution into separate test tubes and place them in a warm water bath at about 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. The temperature must not exceed 40 degrees Celsius. Leave the test tubes for about 5 minutes to acquire the temperature of the water. Then pour the contents of test tube into a 250 cm cube beaker. With a stopwatch, read the time elapsed from the moment the solution mix until the mixture turns deep blue. The reaction time was 2.28 seconds for a warm water solution. Iteration 3, cold water. Pour 10 cm cubed of iodine and starch solution into separate test tubes. Place the test tubes in a beaker with ice allowing the contents of the test tubes to cool down to zero degrees Celsius. Once again, pour the contents of the test tubes into a 250 centimeter cubed beaker and with a stopwatch, record the time elapsed from mixing the solutions until it turns deep blue. Reaction time was 4.8 seconds for cold water solution. Notice that warmer solutions have a faster rate of reaction and colder solutions have a slower reaction rate. The reaction rate is thus dependent on the temperature. The graph then stipulates that the temperature is directly proportional to the rate at which reactions occur.